So to create a document template, we simply click Create. And as you might guess, we select Document Template. And we can also pull from our share file account. So if we want to browse through our folder structure, no problem. And we would next set the roles of the various signers we're going to have on the document. So if this is something that you want to store as a blank copy of a document and then share out to your customer facing company representatives to fill in some of the key details and then pass to your customer themselves to sign off on. That's a very common format here. Uh, so we'll say, in this case, our company is the Acme Corporation. So we'll have our Acme construction representative as role number one and the person requesting a construction project as role number two. Notice that they are color-coded as well, so we'll be able to sort out who's who once we get this set up. Also want to point out we have the ability to set a signer sequence on document templates so that we can specify that signer number two will only receive the document after signer number one has completed it. If we don't use that, then everyone gets the document all at once. So from here, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we simply choose who needs to fill in a bit of information and what information they need to fill in. And we're going to just drag and drop it onto the document itself. So in this case, we want our customer to sign and date. And we want our company representative to fill in some of the other information about the job, where the uh, change order is being sent, etc. We don't have to build all of this out in full detail. I just want to show you all where this lives and we now have the option for any date fields to set to the date of execution, which means I could ask someone to fill in the date or I could just have it default to the day they open the document to sign it. Rolling right along, when we save this template, we give it a name, any description. We can choose to have a passcode for individuals to whom we're sending this document for signature, where we pr would provide a five-digit passcode in order for them to open the document and sign it. If you're working in accounting, legal, finance, that may be uh, required in certain scenarios, depending on what the content of your document is. So just be aware that that is available right here. And you can even enable that by default for a template, which means every time you go in to send a copy of this to a new customer, someone else, whomever it is, it'll always have that default passcode option on. Great. Our new document template is going to show up here. We'll give it a quick refresh and it'll show up in our list of templates. So there we go. These are the ones that I've made. And again, I could go in and share these out with the rest of my team.